Hello, gang. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello, gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you. That's not how I say it. Hello, gang friends. I don't remember. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Today, I've been waiting to do this for so long. Shh, stop shouting. These two plates from Maniology were sent to me by, and I've got my little list of people who've sent me things and what they've sent. Emily Johnson, wait, you sent me the pop socket as well. <gasps> Emily Johnson, stop sending me stuff. No, don't, I love it. Um, <laughs> she sent me these two plates. They are amazing and i can't wait to show you look oh we'll do a little little peely off bit because oh it's so good um thank you emily for these plates i've been waiting to use them since you sent them which was after halloween last year or that's when i got them so i've been waiting this long to use them and that's what we're going to use today we're going to do a lot of stamping today so we're starting with Perfect Black from Madame Glam and oh look at it look at that black it's so good I'm going to do two coats don't really need to do two coats did I can't remember but we're going to cure it and then we're taking their super cat eye which can go over anything and then we're going to it's a magnetic one and then we're going to bring out the zhuzh of the magneticiness of it and <laughs> magneticiness is the um, official term for it. Oh, look at it glow. <gasps> so good. Um, and we're going to make a little S with it just by pushing in from the top on the left. Yes, the left. And then in from the bottom on the right. And then probably faff with it for a, a second or two. And then we'll cure that as well. Don't forget you can get money off at Man of Glam. 30%, a whopping 30%. Um, and you can also get money off at Born Pretty. These are some of the jelly polishes I'm using. Um, I love their jelly polishes. They've come in a set. I've got two sets of them. They're so good for shading and things like that, but also for going over. Look at that. <gasps> now it's kind of orangey yellow. Oh, I love them. But yeah, you can get money off there as well. This is the green one, BPSG02. Um, I highly recommend these products. I love Born Pretty. Such a good price. Um, and you get 22% off with the discount code and the link in the description. Links for a whole bunch of stuffs in the stuffs in the description. So I've done two in the orange and I'm doing three in the green. I don't do any in this red, but I thought about it, did one, changed my mind, but wanted to show you only a sh sh I had a cup of Aperol spritz, okay? Shh, don't tell anyone. I wanted to show you anyway, because oh my word, look at this. When I finally get round to finding the enthusiasm to do my own nails, they're a bit of a state, then I think I might have to do this. Oh, it's so good, so good. Anyway, so we've done three green, two yellow. One of each of the greens and yellows, I've done the S going in the other direction. So I've come in from with the magnet from different corners. And I've wiped and buffed just so we can see what we're doing. Um, but I wouldn't recommend or wouldn't... You don't need to do that. I'm just doing it for the benefit of the video. And then I'm picking up one of these little tarot card outlines. That... I didn't cut any of that, so that was the speed in which I applied stamping polish um, and then scraped and then picked up. But the rest I'll cut like, you know, milliseconds between um, uh, applying and picking up and scraping and in the right order. <laughs> so I plonked two of those frames on the nail and I'm taking this Madame Glam colour and I'm going to fill them in. So I'm using this frame just as a shape guide because we're going to fill this in and make it look like an old card or just like old paper 
You know, like you would do with your school projects where you would spill tea on it and then put it in the oven or burn, burn the edges. Yeah, I'm kind of wanted to go for that. So we'll do both of those in that colour and then cure it. And then we're going to take Dreamer, Matt, Dreamer and Oracle and I'm just patting splodges, just splodging in those two colours. And then I'm going to dip my brush my brush in some isopropyl alcohol. I've blotted a little bit, but not to the point of it being dry. Ah, shh. Shh. Not to the point of it being dry, but so that it's not dripping. And I'm just going to pat all over it to give it this motley um, old paper look. I'll speed up the second one. Um, and then we're going to cure that as well. So now we've got the shape of what we want to put on it. That will make sense in a second. I'm going to take some stamping polishes. These are all of my stamping polishes. I've got some Born Pretty, some Moyu and Moyu London. Different, both called Moyu. Don't quite understand uh, how that happened. Oh, I've got a couple of Conad ones. And now we're taking a black one. And we're going to apply polish, scrape, roll and lift off. This is the Selena Ryden scramp, scramper, <laughs> scraper, stamper, stamper. Uh, her collab with Clear Jelly Stamper. That's the. Uh, that's the. This is this. this <laughs> that's that's what this stamper is. And while the image is still on the stamper, I'm going to use the stamping polishes not gel polish and I'm going to fill in these little images I'm using sorry hiccup <laughs> that's not a had a drink thing I've had the hiccups for like three days I don't know why um I'm using a dotting tool probably best to use a brush but don't use one of your gel um art brushes because you don't want to put regular polish on those um but I just figured this dotting tool was small enough to be able to get into the small areas. So I've done the closest I could get to any um, any race's skin colour. That was the closest colour I had. And then purple for her cloak. A robe, a robe, that's better. And then <laughs> a robe. And then a gold for her crown. You can wait for each one to dry just a little bit before moving on. And then, oh, look at that. That's the other side. This is the Empress. So I'm going to waft it dry. Um, but do wait till it's dry. Because we're applying it to a tacky layer of gel, it will pick it up. Although I think I kind of get rid of some of it doesn't stick. I don't know if it's her mouth or a necklace or something. Is it this one? Maybe? Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, wait for it to dry because otherwise when you press it down onto the nail, you're going to smush any colour that you've done if it's not fully dry. Uh, and then I'm taking another outline for a tarot, one of the tarot cards. It's different to the first one, but they're all the same size, so that's fine. And we're going to, not going to use our fingers this time to get rid of stuff. We're going to use a card because we're professionals over here, don't you know? And we're going to press that over everything. And I'm not the best stamper in the world at all. Um, but it still looks fudging cool, doesn't it? Look at that. So cool. So now we're going to do the... Um, I'm guessing this just says the Emperor, if she was the Empress. Um, and we'll fill him in. When you use the card, like I just used there, to get rid of um, parts of other images that it's picked up, you want to do that quite quickly, because otherwise it will dry on the stamper. And ideally, um, with stamper heads, you want to avoid wiping them with any sort of, I mean, definitely not acetone, but even isopropyl alcohol. It's nice to avoid doing that, wiping them, because you don't want to corrode the surface. So I use a one of those sticky lint rollers um, to clean them up. 
So we're going to apply his um, sort of non-denominational skin tone color and, and then um, some red and some white. He's got a sash on. So I thought let's, uh, is it a sash or is it just creases in a robe? I don't know, I decided to make it a sash. So we'll give him some goldy bits. And look, so cute. Air dry, give it a waft with the old handaroo and then press him onto the tacky surface that we have. It's, it's definitely good to have that tacky surface when you have filled in the, like, okay, stop it. When you've colored in the images on the back of the stamper, on the stamper, right? <laughs> it's good to be putting them on a tacky layer because otherwise it gets so dry that it might not pick up if you were doing it on a non-tacky layer. So yeah, that's it helps the image to transfer when you're when you're putting it onto a tacky gel polish layer. <sighs> you all okay? We're doing the moon now. And we're going to um hang on a minute. Okay, so on okay, right. So on another one of the nails. <laughs> I did the same as the first one where I took the outline of a tarot card, filled it in, coloured it in, or did the patchy, patchy, patchy bits where we made it look like old paper. Um, so I've done that on these, but I've done them going in opposite directions because these are going to be um, either side, either end of our set. And then we're taking a different tarot card frame to go around these. The only thing worth noting with these um, tarot card outlines is that some of them will be full colour backgrounds. So you could do one that is a block colour. Um, you see at the bottom there where the tarot card outlines are, the one at either end, which is now at the top, um, the main body of the tarot card is the bit that's etched out so that will come in a full colour so obviously I didn't want to use that one because it would cover up what we'd done so I used one that was going to be clear and just had the border as the etched out bit um okay now we're going to this one was a little a book I think with some roses I thought let's make the book gold because I didn't have a brown polish I just assume it was kind of oldy it would be a brown book so gold there we go and then we will we'll pop that on the nail but the writing underneath it hadn't picked up very well so I'm going to wipe the writing off which I do use acetone for because that isopropyl alcohol doesn't really remove regular polish um, so I used acetone for that and then I'm going to go over just the writing again, scrape, pick up, use my card to get rid of any other bits it picked up and then just add on the writing. I don't know if it picked up perfectly then either but it was better than the one before. And then we will outline them and then we're going to put those aside. I do add stuff to them um at some point after the next one i think oh stop talking how are you all you all okay i hope you're all okay um i was reading through a bunch of your comments last night you're all great i just love the gang you're so good oh this one this one is so gorgeous so i'm using white again could have used the card. look at that graveyard scene how cool is that could have used the card to get rid of some of the middle of this um, plant yet, but I didn't. Um, but we're also going to use that um, again as a guide because we're going to do the background the same as the background on the cards. And then we'll go over it in black. So this is the same. I'll probably speed it up a, a bit. <sighs> have you ever spoken non-stop for like half an hour like non-stop no breaks nothing it's really exhausting mentally emotionally physically um <laughs> i'm drained uh, i was going to go and film 
the next character tutorial tonight but it's half nine so I don't think now's the time to start oh I could do I'm doing the same as the background of the cards I could do something towards my top secret project remember the one I told you about like 75 years ago I've decided to start it from the beginning again <laughs> Because I made a bunch of 3D objects out of gel. Liquid, like runny consistency gel. Very difficult to make 3D objects out of runny gel. How do you how do you make a square? How do you make a cube? Like a little box out of liquid. It was difficult. But I've decided to um, start again. Uh, <laughs> mainly because I've got all the segments that I had filmed saved on my hard drive which is in its little fireproof bag somewhere in my room um and i just can't be bothered to go through it all and figure it all out so i thought i'd just start again but i'll probably end up in exactly the same position but i'm going to use modeling the you know the more the stiff sort of sculpting gel the like putty gel to make stuff with I think it'll be better you have no idea what I'm talking about so I'm sorry this is about as interesting as somebody telling you about their you know relatives children nobody really cares um so I've gone over the planchet with the image again but in black this time I filled in the hole with gold and then decided to fill in a bit with the black gel polish uh no black stamping polish just because the gold bit looked a bit I don't know a bit too I don't know not much going on oh I hadn't done it at this point <laughs> um but I do it I did it at the end but I thought I'd chuck it in there so it was a bit more chronological um and now I'm taking some stars from the one of the plates and just plonking them around this so pick them all up you can put a little bit there then move the stamper to somewhere else um, and do it that way love it so I thought let's do the same so I picked up those stars again and then just using my stamper to plonk some um, in all the green gaps and not that we didn't already know this but don't stars just make everything better it just looks more cosmic, more twinkly, more mystical, more just stars make everything better. No, no one could ever debate me with, with that, that with me. <laughs> maybe when I'm, maybe after a few drinks they could, but um, they just do. They make everything better. So we're going to plonk those in all the gaps that we have. Um, trying to obviously avoid pressing them over the images that are already on there the tarot cards and then we're taking uh white polish again and we're going to do these hands oh look how this picks up look how the oh it's so good look how good that is every single tiny morsel of that image has transferred so we're going to do blue bits where the eyes are on the hands i did try and fill them all in in skin color or in air quotes and then put that on the nail and then outline them by going over the image again um and just doing the outline but i just kept where i was using a dotting tool i kept breaking off fingers i was just breaking fingers because i'm nasty um and it was just too much too much stress <laughs> so we thought we'll just go with a white outline as opposed to a skin coloured hand and a black outline and then I fucked that one up so I thought wipe off a tiny bit oh gone too far wipe the whole thing off gonna sneeze hang on <laughs> I should have left that recording then that sneeze literally spelled the word at you and it was really loud and the chew was very chew um yeah, so I messed that one up. So I wiped it off because I needed to. Put, I needed to put the image on again at the bottom half because it didn't take up the whole image. So we're going to pick it up and then hold it and see where we need to take bits off so we can line it up again. But I'm a, an idiot and did it based on looking at it like this. 
leaving that one in the top corner there would fill in that gap didn't make any sense when we turned it around see wally but we could put it there and then use the ones that don't make it onto the nail because we flipped it over so they're going to be off the page and use that for the other corner am i making any sense see so we can plonk that there we've added blue bits for the eyes and then we can do that one there there we go that will do yeah I, I figured it out not taking into account that it mirrors when we turn it over and put it on put it on the nail <laughs> put it on the nail okay so that's that one done the next one is the last one and it is it is i can speak i'm not blind drunk i'm just that that happy point where i'm very relaxed and even my mouth and my brain is relaxed so it's not quite getting everything out how it should do um yeah oh look at this oh so good it picked up so perfectly and the detail and everything and it's so small who can paint numbers that small i'm sure there's i'm sure there's plenty of awesome nail tits out there who can but i don't think i'm one of them um not not in that sort of perfect uh font so i'm going to fill in the back just where there's gaps so i think there was like a circle with a star in it which we've done in red the back of the planchets will do blue the sun we will do gold um, just to match the other colors that we've got um, on some of the other nails and then we will let it waft it waft it dry look at the state i got in all under my fingernails as well all that's what looks like dirt it's not dirt it's nail stuff um i just got in such a mess so we'll go right to the top so that where we have to make a join line is as far down as the nail as possible and then i will try and figure out again this one was a bit more tricky where to put the image so i'm going to pick it up in white again and before i fill it in just going to hold it up and i've got a sun you see the bottom left of the image that's already on the nail there was a bit of sun so i thought we'll turn it upside down doesn't matter if the writing's upside down and we'll use that sun as our guide you can't really see because my fingers are covering everything <laughs> sorry and so we're taking off uh everything below the sun or above the sun and going at an angle just checking again that we can put that like that and then we'll fill in um, the back and we'll plonk it on so some Im not all images are going to cover an entire nail but there is always a way to um, join them up with a bit of um, what's the word I'm looking for begins with a T a bit of I don't know uh, what's the fucking word uh, engineering that doesn't begin with a t <laughs> um so we popped that on there the, the red star circle thing and the word ouija is a bit smushed together but i think it's fine and that's it now we're going to top everything and then all the background will come out nice and sparkly and cat eye -y. <laughs> and then we will be done i believe this was when i decided to put the black dot inside the gold dot on the planchet but thought we'll we'll move it to you don't care um i'm making sure that the top coat so i'm going over it a few times because uh what's it called stamping polish doesn't like gel polish on top of it it will sort of it will um separate a bit so make sure that before you put it in the lamp it's not separated anywhere when i do stamps on clients and i top i'll top one by one like top it right get it in the lamp straight away so it doesn't separate um and this is the final set um i hope you like it let me know what you think i've been waiting nearly a year to use these plates um thank you so so much to emily johnson one of the gang friends for sending me these plates 
I love them so much. They're, they're so up my street. I just adore them and they're so gorgeous. And look at all that detail and fiddly faffy shit and it wasn't difficult. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love to hear from you. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.